Good morning or good afternoon uh, out there in this wonder winterland land here in Indiana and other places out west in east that's getting snow. Ah, uh, here's a unknown cold case um, story. Uh, the boy in the box mystery. Um, Who was the mystery boy in the box? How did he die? Was his death a tragic accident or cruel or a deliberated act of Charles Humberside? Who killed him? Um, and why? How did he? How did the nude, badly bruised boy, body of a little boy came to placed inside a cardboard box and dumped in a remote rubbish? Um, strewn lot in the northern outskirts of Philadelphia. Now why did anyone report the boy missing? Who was who who were the boy's parents and guardian? Um, and why hadn't they come forward to identify him claim his body? Well this little boy's true identity ever been known or he forever remain American unknown child. Now, the urgent is just uh, in the quotes in this box up here. If if you're at the age of 55 or beyond, and you know or remembering remember knowing of a young boy, two years old or younger, possible named Jonathan, um, in this very early 1950, living in what's in 40 mile radius of the Philadelphia, or if you are aware of a physician perhaps now retired, who may have treated such a boy for a condition that would have left result scars in the groin area and the uh, ankles. Uh, IV cut downs. Um, you asked to email such information to our, these guys' website, American uh, Unknown Child at vid OCQ.org, you'll be you'll be contacted by via email information on this child. This child now, far many questions um, and countless others have been puzzled. Investigation for more than four decades. Um, the mysterious death of this unknown child, Americans unknown, primarily known as the boy in the box or the fox chase boy is one of the most complexing unsolved crimes in the 20th century. The case has been written reluctantly pursued by dozens of experts over the years, including a number of Philadelphia homicide detectives, criminologists, and the FBI. And the most recently, this organization Organization especially solving cold case and homicide cases. Now, the boy in the box case attracted both the local and national media attention when the story broke back in 19, February 1957. And the police initially assumed that the identity of the unknown boy would determine very quickly, but hundreds of thousands of posters bearing the slain boy image and physical description were permanently displayed throughout the, the Philadelphia area. Now, it's also dispute thousands of police departments around the count, uh, country. The detectives who worked on this case back in 1957 even dressed the boy in the particular children's clothing posed in the sitting position and hope the lifelike image of this boy may cause someone to recognize him and come forward. But hundreds of prominent leads were tracked down and several lucky suspects were identified by interrogation, yet each time investigators thought the answer was finally within their grasp, um, it somehow eluded them over the years. Uh, the clues lead in this case have been carefully examined time and time again. Now, back in November of 98, the boy remains were exhumed, ex extracted tissues, the DNA analysis, 
He also subsequently reburied at another location, America's unknown, and yet, despite of all efforts and investigation, are not much closer to solving the boy in the box. Um, Teased today, then they were uh, when they were the mystery first began. In some respects, they are worse off now because many of the people who might have firsthand of the knowledge of this boy identity. Um, or the circumstance surrounding the violence of the death of no longer alive themselves. Still, hope spring internal investigations are looking into to find someone who may have the key information to unveil um, that will bring the case satisfied conclusion. Now, the website is dedicated to the goal of solving in this buckling baffling mystery and you may be able to help especially if you're if you lived in the metropolis philadelphia area back in the late 1950s um, or know someone who died now you can get the, see the photo of this boy um, on this their website here uh, but please take a moment to study the little boy's picture closely um, have you seen his face before? Does he look strangely familiar to you? Could you have known him or known who he was at the time in his lifetime? Um, or you know any relatives that uh, that somebody just didn't want? Um, Knowing, knowing that they're missing, that they, they something they did it at that time. But please, um, a playmate or a child in the neighborhood, perhaps such your memories of as hard as you can. Perhaps you or someone know. But yeah, if you can, uh, anybody around that time, 1950s, <coughs> if the people who were born. Back in, say, um, 1935, and you're living back then, would know what this boy looked like in that facility somewhere in those neighborhoods during that time of, uh, in 1950s. Um, one of those relatives should be able to, a grandfather who told a story out there. But yeah, if you go to uh, this website, uh, uh, let me go back up here. Where is it? Um, American Unknown Child at uh, vidocq.org. Um, contact them by email. Um, but Rumington Besto, an investigator who spent 36 years working on this case, offered a thousand dollar reward. But I don't know if that's still current. While there's no official reward currently in effect, <coughs> organization will honor Mr. Uh, Frosto the thousand dollar offer. But yeah, any words, please let these people know who this child's name. It's been a mystery ever since. It's 2000. 13 now, and if you know somebody, please, um, let somebody know. Talk to you later. Bye now.